Hey everybody, I'm going to apologize in advance for the odd lighting on and off of my face through this video, but I've got the top of my tank open and we're going to be feeding my discus in this video and you're seeing a lot of the light from the tank uh, bleeding out onto my face and that's why this video is going to look sort of odd. Uh, other than that, what we're going to do is we're going to feed my discus and we're going to talk about feeding discus and we're going to talk about why you should stop feeding your discus beef heart if that's what you've been feeding them and you should feed them blood worms, brine shrimp, uh, mysis shrimp, much more natural foods that discus are more uh, equipped to deal with digesting than the beef heart because beef heart is not a very good food to feed your discus despite what seems to be very common uh, within the hobby. So let's get some food thrown here in the tank first and then we will sit down and we'll talk about why all of that is. So this is a mixture between brine shrimp and blood worms. I've got them all mixed into the same little jar here get them poured in the tank I find that the brine shrimp spread out um, much more quickly and it takes the fish a lot longer to sort of work their way through them whereas with the uh, blood worms they just devour them almost immediately and they're just gone and so the brine shrimp gives a little more sort of natural behavior natural foraging behavior the way the current swirls the brine shrimp around in the water uh, sort of mimics live prey and it gives the fish more natural sort of hunting behavior and activity in the tank Again, a lot of good reasons to feed our fish uh, these more natural uh, fish food type things, the type of stuff that you would find in water, such as insect larvae, blood worms, uh, mysis shrimp, brine shrimp. These are the kinds of things you would already find in aquatic environments, and these are the types of foods that these fish have evolved to eat and digest. They've got the proper amount of nutrition in them. Now, the reason we shouldn't feed our discus or any of our fish, really, the blood worms on uh, a regular basis as a staple food is the blood worms apparently lack a lot of amino acids and therefore they would be nutritionally incomplete as a staple food but they are very good in protein they're very high in trace minerals and, and vitamins nutrients all those little elements blood worms are great for your fish but they're not a complete diet and so you do need to still mix up the diet the brine shrimp are very nutritionally good for your fish. I was a little surprised by that when I looked into their nutritional content. I kind of thought brine shrimp didn't have a lot, but they actually are more nutritionally valuable to your fish than the blood worms are. So brine shrimp are a great way to feed your discus as well. So the reason you should stop feeding your discus the beef heart is pretty obviously beef heart is not a natural food source for discus. There's no place ever in nature where discus are going to be eating a cow and it's just it's not on their diet they've not evolved to eat beef heart they've not evolved to eat terrestrial meat of any sort so the protein profile that's in the beef heart is different than the protein profile that a fish would need different types of animals one's warm-blooded one's cold-blooded and then that brings me to the very important point of while beef heart is a very low fat meat it does still contain fatty acids in it and the lipids or fatty acids that are in beef heart are those that are contained within a warm blooded animal and if you've ever seen what happens to the fat on your plate after your hamburger goes cold you know that it congeals in cooler temperatures so those lipids those fatty acids that are being consumed by these cold water fish even though they might be in 80 degree water or 82 83 degree water that's still a much lower body temperature than a cow's body temperature and these fatty acids can actually congeal within the fish's body and they can develop fatty deposits in their liver and other things so again it's just it's not a good idea to feed your fish terrestrial foods that weren't meant for fish. Insects are one thing. A lot of fish have sort of evolved to eat insects. So while they may not have evolved to eat the specific insect you're feeding them, uh, a cricket, for example, uh, has been mentioned and brought up. Um, 
Insects in general are digestible to fish. Cow meat is not. That's something that a fish is never going to eat. It's just not the same. I don't recommend feeding fish earthworms. You should never feed your fish uh, terrestrial snails or slugs or mollusks of any sort. Uh, they contain all sorts of pathogens and parasites that can be harmful to your fish. These are not foods that your fish would ever have evolved to eat in nature. One of the biggest dangers with feeding discus is due more to their shape than any of their special dietary needs. At the end of the day, discus are just fish. They have the same nutritional requirements that other fish do, which is why I personally prefer simple prepared foods. You know, if you think about a cat, you could say, well, it's bad for a cat to just eat nothing but red meat all the time. And that's not true. That's what a cat has evolved to eat. A, a whole red meat diet is what a cat's body has evolved to do. And so you say, okay, well, cat food, I put dry crumbly things in a bowl and my cat eats them and they're just fine. And that's fine because it's called cat food. It's food that's been designed designed for a cat's nutritional needs. This is called fish food. It is food that has been designed for fish's nutritional needs. So again, there's nothing special about these discus that make them magic fish that have some kind of different dietary needs than any other fish. So if you're feeding them a good, high quality, prepared fish food that is designed to meet the dietary needs of fish, then you really don't need any of these more exotic foods. I seldom feed my fish any sort of uh, frozen food. These discus are sort of an example and I really just want to give them a lot of high quality, high protein food because I want them to grow up big and strong and look beautiful when they get larger. But by and large, most of my fish never get any food other than prepared fish food. Now I do mix it up. I do give them algae wafers. I give them flakes. I give them um, you know, shrimp pellets occasionally. and I, So I give them a variety of different foods foods, but I'm still giving them mostly prepared fish foods, and I think that's just fine for discus too. If you gave discus nothing but prepared foods their whole lives, they would be just fine and beautiful. These fish can get prepared food vast majority of the time. They get um, blood worms two or three times a week, maybe four times a week tops is all they get. So again, the biggest problem you have with feeding discus where you run into problems with the feeding discus is their shape. They are so lateral compressed. They're one of the most laterally compressed fish you're ever going to see. And there's not a lot of room for that intestinal tract to move around in there. It all sort of has to go in this very, very narrow area. It doesn't have this wide place for, for a lot of movement. So if they eat too much food too quickly, they are very, very apt to getting impounded or impacted. They'll get this backup in their um, system and then of course they, they die from that eventually they'll get backed up and if you can't get get things moving you, you know you can't get that constipation to break loose which is often very difficult in fish they die from that and so that's where you run into your real hazard when it comes to feeding discus it's not that the blood worms are, are a bad food for them particularly and in all reality if you're feeding your fish beef heart you're probably not really going to run into that much of an issue either because most people that feed their discus beef heart do it occasionally it's sort of seen as a treat i don't recommend it and i honestly recommend you stop doing it but i you know it's not like you're poisoning your fish to death or you, it's just it's not the best thing to do for your fish. It's just not a good idea to feed them any kind of terrestrial sort of food. I wouldn't feed my fish ground beef. I wouldn't feed them, you know, uh, goat cheese or, you know, they're just, that's not what they're, they have not evolved to eat that kind of food. They have evolved to eat insects, insect larvae, copepods, small crustaceans, microworms, all the stuff that you would find in an aquatic environment. That's exactly what the midge fly larva, or we call them blood worms in the aquarium hobby, but they're just midge fly larvae. They get laid in water and lakes and ponds and aquatic environments, and that's a natural food source for fish the world over. So it's right up the alley of these fish. It's a very, very natural food source. Again, the only real downside to the blood worms is that they're very limited on their amino acids, and therefore it's not a complete nutritional profile for your fish, and you can't use it as a staple food. You do have to mix it up. But you can use it as a regular food source. Just don't rely on that whole 
slowly because again it doesn't have that complete nutritional profile and I would say that about any even using the prepared food I still tend to mix it up just to keep some variety uh, in the fish's diet but otherwise beef heart is the worst out of all of the things we've talked about today the worst option for you to feed your discus is the beef heart yet for some reason that seems to be the go-to recommendation for feeding discus so I'm going to try to dispel that idea and break that myth that beef heart is a good idea to feed your discus it is not stop feeding your discus uh, beef heart it's not a good idea you don't want to do that switch over to the blood worms better yet do the mysa shrimp and the brine shrimp great food great natural forage hunting activity really really good stuff for your fish and for the overall health of your aquarium so stop with the beef heart start with the more natural stuff so thanks for watching this one i'd like to hear your two cents on that let me know your thoughts opinion have you been using beef heart did i change your mind did i convince you to stop let me know but thanks for watching this one make sure you subscribe don't forget i do a live stream every friday night and sunday night at 8 p.m eastern time so thanks for watching i'll see you real soon in the next one